Roman Yampolsky, one of the most respected computer scientists in the world, says that artificial intelligence has a 99.999999% chance of ending humanity. In other words, we're all doomed. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Well, maybe not so great. Who knows? According to Roman Yampolsky, who has a higher IQ than 99.9% .9 of the population, well, there is a 99.9% .9 chance that every single one of us, um, the species, the human species will cease to exist. Now, here's something kind of positive to consider. The next time you use an AI tool, most people involved in artificial intelligence think it could end humanity. That's the bad news. The good news is that the odds of it happening vary very widely depending on who you listen to. P is the probability of doom or the chances that AI takes over the planet or does something to destroy us, such as create a biological weapon or start a nuclear war. At the cheeriest end of the P doom scale, Yan Li Kun, one of the three godfathers of artificial intelligence who currently works at Meta, places the chances at 0.01% or less likely than an asteroid killing us, killing all of, all of humanity and hitting the planet. Sadly, no one else is even close to being as optimistic as he is. Jeff Hinton, one of the other three godfathers of AI, says there's a 10% chance AI will wipe us out in the next 20 years. Yoshua Bengio, the third of the three godfathers, says that figure is 20%. There's a 20% chance all of humanity will cease to exist within 20 years. That's the middle optimistic position. However, the most pessimistic end of the scale is Roman Yampolsky. He is an AI safety scientist and director at the Cybersecurity Laboratory at the University of Louisville. He believes that it's pretty much guaranteed that all of humanity will be killed by artificial intelligence. He places the odds of AI wiping out humanity at 99.9999%, saying it's almost impossible for us to avoid this scenario. Jan Polsky has actually warned the possibility of existential risk from advanced artificial intelligence now for years. He has advocated research into trying to save us all. He and his collaborator, Michael Trazzi, have proposed introducing Achilles heels into potentially dangerous artificial intelligence. This would be a way to save humanity possibly. Now, this would include banning an AI from accessing and modifying its own source code. Uh, is this even possible though? Another proposal is to apply a security mindset to AI safety, itemizing potential outcomes in order to better evaluate proposed safety mechanisms. Elon Musk, speaking in a great AI debate seminar at the four-day abundance summit earlier this month, said, I think there's some chance that it will end humanity. I agree with Jeff Hinton that it's about 10 or 20% or something like that. Before he said, I think that the probable positive scenario outweighs the negative scenario, meaning life could be amazing with artificial intelligence. I'm talking artificial general intelligence, not just AI but advanced artificial intelligence. In response, Yampolsky told Business Insider he thought Musk was being too conservative in his guesstimate and that he should abandon development of the technology now because it would be near impossible to control AI once it becomes more advanced. Musk has actually said similar things himself. Musk, in fact, has implored the community to slow down or pause, put a complete pause on the development of artificial intelligence. Well, no one listened to him. So he decided the only option was to develop, to develop his own. Not sure why he thinks it is a good idea to pursue this technology anyway, Yampolsky said. If he is concerned about competitors getting there first, it doesn't matter as uncontrolled superintelligence is equally bad, no matter who makes it come into existence. Now, technically, Yampolsky is wrong here based on his own theory, his own logic, because if Musk were to employ Yampolsky's um, security Achilles heels into his AI and others were not to do that, then in theory, Musk's AI would be well, superior and wouldn't end up killing all of humanity. 
So Yampolsky appears to be possibly being very, very um, anti-Elon Musk, or at least kind of targeting him rather than providing him with the solution, which he has proposed at other times. At the summit, Musk had a solution to avoiding AI wiping out humanity. Don't force it to lie, even if the truth is unpleasant. It's very important. Don't let the AI lie. Now, this is a, a big problem right now. The media, well, they lie on a daily basis. They lie about everything. And a lot of it is white lies. A lot of it is kind of, you know, a slight change of the truth, taking someone's words out of context, um, writing headlines that are clearly misleading. Uh, and humanity, honestly, is quite stupid. I mean, all, most of us will fall for this stuff until we find out later on that actually, or, or maybe we never find out that actually it was false. So it seems like to protect ourselves, we like things to kind of maybe stretch the truth a little bit. Musk is saying, if we do that, we're all screwed. If you're wondering where other AI researchers and forecasters are currently placed on the P-Doom scale, well, you can check out, there's a list online, I'll put a link in the description below. It's called Pause AI backslash P-Doom. Now the founder of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin, he says there is a 10% chance that AI will end all of humanity. However, there's actually a growing number now of people who believe AI will doom us all. Elisa Yudhowski, who is the founder of MIRI, or M-I-R-I, says, yeah, there's a 99% chance. In other words, we're all dead. Dan Hendricks, who is the head of Center for AI Safety, says there's an 80% chance that we're all doomed. And Daniel Cocotillo, who is the forecaster and former open AI researcher. Former open AI, AI researcher. I mean, this guy really, he really has experience in this. He says there is a 70% chance that, well, all of humanity will be wiped off the face of the planet. 